Right, it's back with the Land Rover and we're onto the trailer. We've got it painted and cleaned all the, all the front up so it's just nice and black. Got it painted in Keswick green and we've now got all the steel cut for constructing the wheel arches. So these are the, where are them? So the cut ones over there, they're the, the, the kind of sides. They go, if I can go up there, they go across there and across there and then the, one of these pieces gets cut and it goes across to form the wheel arch in the tub and all my patches are done as well i've done a few patches because i've got to repair where are we got to repair that line down there that's all rotted out so i've got to repair that one so that's got to be welded in and got some bits and pieces on here to repair as well so i've got a patch to put on there that's a patch i've cut to put on there to strengthen that corner because that rotted out and then I've got another patch which I think is that one <clears throat> and that's to go on the outside there in that gap so I've got to weld that in into there and then I've made new brackets because I've made these brackets to hold the, the, the box on and these aren't quite long enough so I want two big old bolts in the frame and two big old bolts in there she's held on with a little 10 mil uh, little 10 mil at the moment so I've made new brackets that are the right length and they're going to go under there and then two big old bolts in there to hold the box onto the frame. They're the, the little nuts that go, I say little, they're actually chunky things. And there's four of them at the rear holding the frame on because she's just slightly too big. So I've held her on in a, you know, a different position. And then this side, we've got that one to repair. So that seam down there, I've got welding a patch into there. And, and then we've got to start to rebuild rebuild the door frame. So I've made these little uh, uh, little pieces, fold them over, but they're only 0.75 steel. So I'm, I'm putting some new ones on there to weld in to form that uh, repair in there. And the same on the other side, if you see that side there, it rotted out on that uh, side. So I'm gonna make some pieces for that. And then the top, the top we've done the rails at the top there in hammerite so they'll be quite uh, quite rust resistant the three rails then i'm putting an aluminium bar between that one and the end one across that's to fit the awning on when she goes on and then the panels for here for the actual wheel arch is the skin that arrives uh, tomorrow i think that arrives we've done the wheels as well we've painted the wheels black and the same as the land rover uh, clean the tires up of course I had to take the tyres off, take them down the tyre yard, or the tyre bay, get the tyres taken off, but naked wheels, spray the wheels, I'll rough up the wheels and spray them, and then get the tyre place uh, to put the wheels back on. And then we've got a piece in here which is just formed and cut and ready to go into, I can't remember where that goes now if I'm honest. So on this, with all this welding here, making the wheel latches, I'm going to try and use stick, uh, stick welding. I've not used stick welding for about 20 years. So I'm gonna try and stick it and, and see if it works. If it doesn't, I'll go back to MIG, but uh, I'm gonna try and stick it because I've got a stick welder, so we'll, we'll, we'll give it a go. And then on the back here, I've got, I haven't bought it yet, but I've got frames to put, frame bars to put across the back and then I'm gonna put a, a, a door that comes out. And it's quite a big door, that one. So I'll stick a frame round the edge to make it a little bit smaller and then get a luggage door, uh, probably at the bottom here, so we can have a slide out kitchen out of the out of the back. And then of course the awning is gonna be a, a what's called a 270 awning. So it goes right from there, all the way around here and all the way around there. So um, so we're doing that and then put windows in the side. The windows, I bought the windows and the windows came in the like bus size windows. So I'm not using them, I'm sending them back. And then I've decided that I'm gonna make the doors as well because there's not really a company that makes doors to fit this because I've got a lip here on, or I've got a lip like this on the three sides and that's a little gap. And then I've got a flat piece here where the hinge goes so I can just make a hinge, oh, sorry, buy a hinge, put the hinge the whole length and then put door seals in there and put a door on myself. So I've decided to make the doors. Then on this side, this is the, the uh, right hand side of the vehicle facing forward. I'm just gonna put a flat panel in so it looks like a door, but it isn't just to make it look uh, the same. On the front here, now I haven't decided yet whether to have a, a cycle rack and then put a cycle there to 
kind of take away a bit of this flatness because it's a bit boxy or put a, an aluminium box but I can only put so I've got to be able to move that I can only put a box about nine inches wide which I might do because it'll keep uh, a couple of batteries in there so I've got all of the, the the stuff that's dangerous outside the vehicle so the batteries can go outside the gas bottle is going on this side um, about there somewhere and then everything that's uh, possibly dangerous is outside the vehicle so I don't need boxes and stuff inside and then I've just come across to make my wheel arches I've come across uh, transit repair wheel arches so I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna buy them and put the wheel arches above there when I get the floor in and and then it'll look like a, a regular wheel arch so that could look uh, pretty good I think so that's the trailer so far we're kind of in the still in the fabrication phase really although we did get a painted to protect her uh, and make it look the same as Land Rover, so she's the same colour as the Land Rover now. <clears throat> so she's looking pretty good. That's the trailer for now, and mark out.